Welcome back to the vlog. Today we are romanticizing our entire day. I am not leaving the house. I am not seeing a single person, but we're still going to make the day special. I've got a list of a few things that I'm gonna do, but basically just want to like do kind things for myself and just, you know, have fun alone, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just Googled what romanticizing life means and Google AI gave me a pretty good description, so. Here it is. Romanticizing life is a way to appreciate and enjoy everyday moments and can mean different things to different people. It can involve, first one, mindfulness, paying attention to the present moment, thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations without judgment. Like your cat coming to say hello and being grateful that he chose to give you some attention. Gratitude, being thankful for what you have. Again, that seems like the same thing. Living with intention, doing activities that inspire or make you smile, and being surrounded by people who bring out the best in you. You guys. And then making the ordinary extraordinary. Finding beauty in the everyday and turning things that might not seem fun into favorite memories. Which is, I feel like that is my main mission of my life right now, especially because, I don't know, a lot of times my life does feel very mundane. And I think the older you get, the more mundane life just kind of feels. You're, we're all on this hamster wheel and the days just go by so quickly and we're just trying to get things done that we need to get done and like work towards our goal. We're all just like living for the weekends and stuff. So that's why I think it's so important to just like take a moment to try to make even the littlest things in the day more memorable and more fun. And that's especially if you're alone. You can do fun, nice, romantic things for yourself and just like pretend that you're the main character of your own movie. So yeah, that was helpful. That's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm also in my luteal phase of my period, which is when I just like kind of my motivation drops and I just start feeling more negative about myself. I have more negative thoughts in my head that I have to beat away. And so that's another reason why I just really want to like take care of myself and make today a nice day. As you noticed in the intro of this video, I have already started my romantic day. Like I put on a cute little scene from YouTube on my TV. It's very summery. I can just imagine like the smell of the ocean as I look at it. And then I turned on my cozy lights. I put on my record player. We were listening to Fleetwood Mac for a little bit. I put cold foam in my coffee to make it a little extra sweet and special today. But now I need to like kind of, we still need to do the things that I need to do. So I thought I could get ready for the day, but I'm gonna like pamper myself more. It's like a spa morning. <laughs> We have reached the skincare portion of this day. I think it'd be fun to do like a face mask or something. Treat myself. What would the main character, what would I do if I was the main character of the movie that is today? We would obviously wash our face first. <laughs> Let's see what, I think I have some fun masks though. Like a sheet mask. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh yeah. This loops one. Hydrogel. Let's do that. 
Promotes youthful skin, super moisturizing, pore refining, rejuvenating. And you just leave it on for 10 minutes. Ooh, this looks interesting. It's in two pieces. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, this is a weird, it's not paper, it's like gel. to make my bed i used to make my bed every single day and then like for some reason i just stopped and i literally used to say that i could not get into bed if my bed was not made but if we're romanticizing the day obviously i need to make my bed look clean and nice and pretty In 10 minutes. How does it look? It feels nice, rejuvenated, hydrated. I want to wear a cute outfit and I was thinking something comfortable obviously but um today I was thinking this skims tee in either linen shorts or linen pants but I'm going to put on my self tanner first and then I'll put my clothes on. This is the tanner I use, I love it. It's like the perfect color. I probably could go darker because I love the color that it is when I first put it on. And then when I wash it tonight, it's gonna be a lot lighter, but it's so expensive. I'm afraid to like try something else when I already know that I like this one. It's like a mousse and you can see it going on and I have the little mitt. So, I don't know, but I'll be right back. All right, guys, here's my cute little summer outfit, tan included. And now we're gonna go have a cute little breakfast moment. every day and I never make them for myself so today oh my god that's so good added some cold foam on top in this cute glass I love and then I just got these Noosa yogurts haven't tried it yet so we're gonna do a taste test but it is strawberry rhubarb it has like strawberry in it let's give it a go and then some watermelon and I'm sitting in my cute new little breakfast nook in the sunniest room of my house because it's important to get sun even when you can't go outside because it's too hot. That's another thing for me that's been really harmful to my mental health is that it is so hot outside. It's only going to get hotter because we're in the middle of June. July is hell. I'm like, normally if you were romanticizing your day, getting some self-care, you'd go on a nice walk, you'd lay out in the sun, which I guess I could do if I had a pool, but it makes it hard in the summer. Obviously, I can't really go outside, so I need to find other ways to make my days happier. This is delicious. Should I throw some granola in? Best by November 2000. 23. Does granola really go bad? Mm. 
Okay, maybe not. I don't wanna ruin it. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my food. I'm really going to take the moment to like taste everything, appreciate what I have. And I'm gonna make a list of all the things I'm grateful for in my phone while I do that. caught up in two chapters of my book just for the summer by Abby Jimenez it's so cute I'm in my cute little rom-com reading phase but now I feel like we should cozy up in the living room because I need to get some work done but we're still going to make it fun Obviously getting to work from home in any capacity is such a privilege, but when you do get to work from home, or even if you work in an office, like there's certain things you can do, like listen to a podcast while you work, light a candle, bring some good smelly things from home. But in my house, anytime I light a candle, that means we're getting fancy. And I thought it'd be fun to put on like a cute movie while I worked. Don't know what that movie is yet. Let's check Hulu. We're gonna find a movie. And it will mostly just be background noise. Oh, the new Gypsy Rose show is out. I am gonna watch that, not right now, but you know. Movies, The Other Woman, John Tucker Must Die, Pride Wars, You Again, The Last Song, heck no, too sad. When in Rome, 10 Things I Hate About You, Sweet Home Alabama, The Hot Chick. I loved that movie when I was younger, Bridesmaids. <laughs> what is 13 going on 30 on? That's what I want to watch. Hulu. Let's see. It's Jenna. got some work done but it's lunchtime so I'm making a quick little pasta pesto pasta and then we're gonna take a little lunch break Yummy. I think I'm in the middle of two different pictures to choose from. This one I have not finished. Maybe I should just finish this one. Or the gym one. Let's do the bath. Since it's a romanticize your life day, baths are very self-care. Bye.
for some playtime with Willow. It's her turn to play. We're playing ball inside. I got a little mood booster drink. Strawberry recess is really good and it has magnesium and adaptogen, whatever that means. It's supposed to make you be in a good mood. I was just feeling frustrated because I can't go outside until like the sun is literally down. So I can't imagine how frustrated my dog feels. So we're playing. We need to take a trip to the stores soon. I used to do that like a couple times a week with Willow. We'd just go walk around Petco because there was nothing else to do. Something fun I thought we could do is organize my little um, marker station. I got this little marker holder thing just because I thought it was pretty. And I think it'd be fun to put the markers in here and it would make me feel like I accomplished something. Do we want to do it by like... I just did a quick little house cleaning session and Willow chased me all around. Well, she chased the vacuum all around, so I think she's a little, t a little worn out. But I feel better now. And it's five o'clock, so I'm gonna have some wine. Actually, since we're romanticizing, I feel like I should use my cute new wine glasses. Am I cleaning these well? They break so easily. For the next portion of our night, I'm gonna watch some vlogs on YouTube, catch up with my parasocial BFFs, and drink some wine and just chill out for a little bit. And then I want to do my nails. They look so bad right now. Ugh and then cook something for dinner. Oh, Koreans have like the best skin ever and I've been working so hard, especially with getting all my hormones managed to help clear up my skin. Obviously with traveling and just not drinking enough water, I have a couple active breakouts. I'm gonna do my nails now. They have been breaking so badly lately and so I've just kind of been letting them break and be short and like filing them to be short. So I got this gel color that's like 
a light pink kind of oh wait th wait this is not the color i'm looking for um i need to go find it <laughs> but it's like almost a clear pink a pinky clear and i feel like that would be cute just like to make me feel less gross but i need to go look for it <laughs> all right we found it doing very like a clean nail look the key to gel nails i guess is really buffing your nail so that the gel sticks and i am not sure that it i'm not sure if this is what's also contributing to my thinning nails but if you do not do this the gel polish will just like peel off <laughs> letting them grow out, clean vibes. I did my toes too. I'm trying to get in the mood to cook dinner because I got um, meat from Costco to make burrilla tacos. Is that how you say it? And last night when I was like ordering them, I was craving it so bad. And now I just am not that hungry yet. So I'm gonna give it like another 20 minutes and then I'm gonna start like cutting up the ingredients. It looks super easy aside. I just have to cut everything and then you microwave the meat. I don't know if that's gross, but we'll see. One of my neighbors, the fire department pulled up in an engine and then I was texting my family because my stepdad and my brother are firefighters. And my sister was like, oh, well, it's not an ambulance. It's probably not that big of a deal. And an ambulance just pulled up and it makes me so sad. I don't know who my neighbors are, but <laughs> I'm PMSing right now and I feel really bad. I have no idea what's going on. I could just see it out my window, but I, that's like the worst day of that person's life, right? Or that family, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I was just chopping my veggies for my dinner. <laughs> now i feel really sad um this is the meat that i got from costco and i'm hoping that there's like multiple packages in here because this is really heavy and i don't want to eat it all tonight oh it's one big package that's okay i can save it like we can make leftovers for tomorrow and stuff um I thought I was having a bad fucking day because I'm PMSing. Like, I guess that puts things into perspective. Okay, how the fuck do I cook this stuff? Okay, well, the fire trucks left with their sirens on, so not a good sign, but the meat is done. Although the instructions tell me, like, once it reaches a minimum 165 degrees Fahrenheit, Like I have the thermometer, come on now. Um, but I have tortillas and I want them to get like crispy. So I was gonna put them on here and cook them, the tortillas, and then I'm gonna put the meat in the middle and then I have some mozzarella cheese to put on top because I don't have that other cheese that you're supposed to use, but mozzarella is similar. And then this excess sauce is like what you dip it in. I'm still not hungry. I wish I was. Like yesterday when I was thinking about this meal, I was drooling over it. But let's see. We might need to do some tester tortillas because like the way that I'm imagining this, it's like a crunchy fried tortilla, which obviously I'm not doing, but.
going to be very messy. So, um, especially because the tortillas are not hard. This one's busting through already. But let's give it a taste test. You dip. Mmm. That is so good. Love. Wow, I feel like such a freaking chef. Now, I do not know how long it's going to take me to eat all of that. I think it was a lot of juice. So, we'll see. I'm going to watch an episode of Hacks while I eat. And then I'm probably going to start getting ready for bed. Mmm. Putting the cheese first, then the meat is a better idea. You want compression slimes to say, Paris, not muscles. You want... God damn it, wait! Let's my soul up. After eating, or actually just after going and cooking dinner and listening to a podcast, and then eating, and then watching my TV show, I literally feel a million times better. Sometimes you just need like an environment shift. And that's why as like an introvert, it is important to get out of my house and do things. And that is why I struggle in the summer because I can't go on walks. Like going on walks or taking Willow to the park was always something that made me feel better. And you can't do that when it's 100 degrees out. So I need to find more workout classes that I like during the week, I think. But I do feel so, so, so much better. I'm going to take a shower. I'm gonna take like a long shower and just stand in the hot water and listen to a podcast. But I wanted to share some of my favorite like pampering, self-care shower products. There's just two of them. The first one is this L'Occitane body oil. And as you can see, it's almost gone. I need to order more. It smells so good. And it's like an oil. And when you rub it in, it kind of lathers up. So it just makes your skin feel so soft. It's also a body wash. So it's cleansing and softening and it's just so luxurious. I love it. And then they recently sent me this whipped cleansing and softening. So it's, I think it does a similar thing to the shower oil, but it's whipped and it like, it just has a really fun texture. And it smells really good. It's their like almond line, both of them. So I'm gonna go lather my body in products and wash this tan off and then do my skincare after that. I'm also gonna throw in a shower steamer. Let's see, I don't know if they all smell the same. Mm, this one smells good. I'll do this one. Do a little gentle skincare. I'm gonna do a toner. This Rayel one is really gentle. I also did a scrub in the shower. I'll do like a scrub once a week of, on my face when I'm in the shower. And let me show you which one it is because it's my favorite. I'm obsessed with it. It's this Tula one. so polished they actually sent this to me but it has really fine like sugar scrub in it and it feels really good like it's really cleaning your face but then it it like kind of turns into an oil so then it really like moisturizes your face and just like absorbs in and like can you tell like i feel like my skin looks so nice right now i'm gonna do this sos spray it just kind of like kills the bacteria on your face, back knee, you know. And then I have to use eye cream because my eye areas are so sensitive and they dry out so quickly. And this one is the only one that is like super, super gentle on my eyes. And I have a few moisturizers that I like, but my favorite is the La Roche Posay Double Repair. It has just never given me any problems. My dermatologist recommended it. And then I put my 
retinol treatment over this and then once it dries I put another coat of moisturizer I'm gonna lather my body in lotion I got a little bit sunburned the other day lately I've been using this EOS moisture I like it because it has a pump it's easy to get out it smells good but like really subtle it's a vanilla scent and yeah I mean can't really go wrong with a body moisturizer. Rounding out romanticizing your life with a matching sleep set because everyone in movies, all the main characters match and wear little pajamas when they go to bed. And I did not used to wear, like I used to just wear a big t-shirt and like spandex shorts, like dance shorts or workout shorts or whatever to bed. Because I didn't think, like, I was just like, why do I need to wear a matching set? Who cares? But then I started wearing matching sets, and I have probably 20 pairs of pajamas now. I think they just make me feel so put together and so cute. And I think it's fun to wear a matching set. Like, honestly, it just has improved my life in my mental health. My favorite ones are from Skims. That's what I'm wearing now because they're tight. Like I toss and turn a lot when I sleep and I hate when I'm wearing something baggy and it like gets all twisted when I turn. I also like these because they're very soft, but they're the Skims cotton ribbed boxer and tank. And I have like at least 10 colors. This is my newest color. And I think it's so cute. My bangs are a mess, but I'm working out tomorrow, so my hair is gonna get nasty anyways. Not brushing my teeth yet because I'm gonna eat some candy in bed. One of the main keys for me for like romanticizing my life is lighting. That light is so cozy. It makes me so happy. And like the lights that I have in my living room, string lights, colored lights, things like that. This light bulb next to me can also be changed to any color or like dimmed or brightened on my app. You can even like turn on settings where it like slowly changes colors, which I just think is so fun. You can find color changing light bulbs on Amazon or like at Lowe's. What's the Philips Hue is like a popular brand. I'm eating some Skittles. I turned the AC way down and I'm gonna read my book. Little ones up. Right, guys I'm gonna end the vlog here it's 10 o'clock I am running out of my hand cream thank you so much for spending the day with me while I try to romanticize a slightly crappy day I feel like we did a good job of turning it around for the most part there is always going to be peaks and pits in every day you can't be happy all the time and this was just an example of that I guess <laughs> putting on my sleeping lip mask putting in my retainers and then i'm gonna read until i fall asleep and then tomorrow's gonna be another good day i love you guys thank you for watching this whole video make sure that you like this video because it just helps i keep getting little notifications that my videos are reaching a wider audience so that's so exciting because i just want to like youtube is my favorite thing right now and I just want to grow and focus on YouTube because I love hanging out with you guys. It makes me feel like I'm less alone. 
So I will see you guys next weekend. Uh, make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram too, just to keep up with my regular midweek happenings. But I hope you are having a, a good weekend yourself and I will see you next time. Bye. Willow says bye too. Yeah, bye bye.